Yo, yo, welcome to Smallmouth Crush. We got Big Crank Jimmy in the house, and we're talking about buzz baits today. Everything you My know favorite know bait. About buzz baits. You love those things. Coming up. All right, this video is going to be short and sweet. This is my buzz bait box right yeah. here. Uh, That's the box ridiculous, bro. Is set up perfectly to hold all your buzz baits. They don't move around in there. I got a problem with this. What? The problem with this is that's my favorite bait. You got one box. Mm -hmm. I hate tubes. You got 3,700 bags of them. Correct. Yeah. You don't need a whole lot when you're buzz baiting. You need white, black, and chartreuse. What about size? Yeah, I mean, I'll go down to some of these little. <laughs> let uh, me see that. Here's the let me, bro, let me see that. See this little baby guy here? Yeah, yeah. If you were on a mayfly hatch, you throw that this would be, bag let me see it. some bushes. Can I see it? Yeah, careful. We don't use those little buzz baits. No. We're catching big fish on smallmouth crush. So we don't. I like this type of buzz bait. Uh, I forgot the name of the company. I got a bunch of them, but they have these little floaters up here to help keep the, the bait buoyant. Buoyant. You can slow it down. Does it work good? Slow. It's a great bait. I don't like that one either. Well, let's <laughs> talk about one of these. Hold can on, you get hold one on. out for yeah, me? Which one? You know, the, the standard. Normal, you thank go. you very much. All right. This is the only buzz bait I think you need to throw. These hooks are awfully rusty, which means you don't throw these much. <laughs> I do. My God. I guess there's a lot of things you could do with these. You could tune them. I know guys that tune them up. They clacker and whacker and all that get stuff. This out. That's a horrible buzz bait box. No, it's a great box. It is? Yeah. So, for instance, this buzz bait, I drilled some holes in the blade. You didn't get that. It went right over your head, bro. I, I got it. Oh my God. Uh, you gonna edit that? No, we're good. <laughs> I'm just trying to think here. So I'm drilling holes in these. You dr you drilled that hole? I probably came that way. It's just sounding yeah. good. Mm -hmm. But you can. You, I know could, you can't even use a drill and you're gonna drill a hole True. in an aluminum buzz bait that perfect? I don't think so, man. I'm my machine shop. My buddy's got a machine shop. Kevin? Kevin. Big Kev? Yeah, he's got. Now, the right guy probably is going to be the professor to talk about buzz baits. Oh, my God. He's good at it. We're not the right dudes when it comes to buzz baits. He bends them, tweaks them, them, twizzes them. You'll throw them. Yeah. They work. They do know. work. What else do you say about buzz bait? You wanted to make this video so bad. <sighs> Any parting thoughts on the buzz bait? Yeah, get a couple. And, it is what you know it what is. I mean? Yeah. Shut the box. All right. This is over. That's it. That's How's a done buzz deal. Bait? Big crank Jimmy. Travis in studio. Buzz baiting 101. Simple as that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please. Leave any comments on buzz baiting. Good or bad. If you found this. We like haters. If you found this beneficial. Someone might have found maybe how to store your buzz baits. Or how to get rid of the ones that you don't want. Because those first two you th showed me sucked. I catch them on it. Yeah, sure. I do. You're so full of shit, yeah, I bro. throw them in the bushes all the time. That's where they belong, in the bushes. All right. Or in the dumpster. We'll see you guys or in the, the trash can. Next time. Peace out.